Good morning, friends, followers, subscribers, my army of Cherbridge and Coltus, and not forgetting, not forgetting, and becoming more importantly, those of you who have made the transition across to Instagram. Over 200 of you now have subscribed, and for that, I am enormously grateful. Anyway, um, yes, it's Sunday, the Lord's Day, the day of rest, the day of rest. Yes, last night was a fantastic night in the Colt household. I got conned a little bit by my son, who said, Dad, Dad, uh, no, I just made a beautiful dinner. Uh, it was a beautiful dinner, actually. I made a glass of wine, beautiful dinner. And my son came back. He wanted dinner later. I'm like, okay, no problem. But he arrived, he arrived with a friend who had a sleepover here, his friend's day. And I'm like, okay. Dad, Dad, can we go and play pool? Can we go and play pool? And I didn't want to go out. I'm sitting there chilling, watching TV. And I'm being told, go with him, Trevor. Just go and bring him a pill. So I got dressed. I head out to give him a pill. And as I went in, I gave my son some money to get changed for the pill. And I went, I ordered myself a beer and I sat there. But my son came in with his friend after being to the shop. And there was someone on the pill table, wasn't there? So he went outside and played. So basically, I was sitting there having a beer, just chatting to people. And I'm like, hmm, my son's conned me again, hasn't he? Yeah. But it was great. Uh, it was great to catch up with David and a few others. Uh, it's always good, isn't it? So Alana and people that run the places. It's nice. It's nice to have people that... We can go out and interact. Not everyone is that lucky and fortunate that they can go out and interact. Not everyone is, but um, yeah. So, you know, always be grateful for what you have. It's always good. Right. Emails and messages coming in last night. Um, listen, people, uh, as you probably know me by now. In fact, I'm sure many of you do know me today. It doesn't matter what people say, do, print or whatever about you. As long as the people around you in your circle know your character, know who you are, know what you're about, doesn't matter what anyone else says. Um, avoid it. Avoid the dramas. Try and stay away. Sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes it's difficult because the people that are causing so much dramas are poking and poking and poking with a big spike and they're trying to get you to react. And it's difficult not to. I can tell you that. But that's why you have to develop armour. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think we all know where I'm going with that. Leave it anyway. Right. Remember Michael Schumacher, the ex-world champion uh, Formula 1 driver? He used to hold the record, didn't he? Until Lewis Hamilton took it. Um, but Michael Schumacher's family are now selling his prized timepieces, his wristwatches. Eight of them. They're going on auction. It's estimated that's going to be about £5 million. Someone's going to pay for that. Now, if you are a Michael Schumacher fan and you have that money then clearly it's the perfect thing to buy isn't it yeah it's shameful though that he has to that his family has to sell them they probably feel they need to sell them in order to pay for bills and cars and other things yeah anyway there's still loads happening now i've been reading this morning by the way every topic i, I talk about in the morning it's because it's in the media and i will put a link to it in the description of this video one of the things that's in the description of this video, when you look at the link, will be the Netflix deal. The Netflix deal for the hostage and the handler. Yes, well, guess what? There's a privacy issue there. There's been a privacy disagreement with the Harkles. And, and, yep, I know you're saying it. Yep, the children will not appear in the Netflix documentary, in the Netflix shows about cooking and about home and family life. The children won't appear in any of the footage, which is strange. It just adds to the conspiracies of who really owns the children. I mean, it just adds to more conspiracies. Why not just have it out? And see this nonsense about we're trying to keep privacy for our children? No, you're not. You're causing more speculation, which is maybe what they thrive off. Maybe that's why they thrive off it. And if you didn't already know, allegedly, I have to say that word, allegedly, Christopher Boozy is bringing out a book to highlight all the trolls and hate. I look forward to that book coming out. Because a lot of us do have what I would call, and I won't use that word because I'm R, receipts. Because it doesn't, it's just a stupid word. It means that people that say I have receipts don't have receipts. People that have evidence Produce the evidence. People have receipts are attention seekers. 
So I look forward to that coming out when he highlights about 20 or 30 YouTubers. That'll be interesting. That'll be a, a class action lawsuit against a man who hasn't really achieved much in life. Yeah, but anyway, there we go. Right. Now this one hits home a little bit because I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not a fan of the NHS. I used to be. I used to be. But I'm not anymore. They have failed and failed and failed and failed. And they continue to fail. And as they're failing in the wards each day, not being professional, they're blaming, they're blaming money. Money, listen, it's nothing about money. I was getting paid shit money on the front line of Afghanistan and Baghdad. But you know what? Professionalism put me at the tip of the spear. That's where you want to operate at. That's how you operate. That's what you want to give to your enemy. You don't want your enemy to see that you're weak or you don't know how to patrol or you look unprofessional. It's appearance and doing the job. So you can't blame that on money. Right, so where was I? The NHS Trust have now come out with the most ludicrous statement. Now, it's quite clear that they're broken. It's quite clear that they've given up and don't care. So now, patients... Patients, whether you're an old woman or an old man or a young man or a young woman, or whatever that thing is you identify as, it doesn't matter. But the weird thing is, when patients are saying they feel uncomfortable going into a toilet with someone with a different biological setup, the NHS Trust has said, hmm, it's a bit like racism. They use that word. They have likened... They have likened people that are disillusioned with the toilet situation and they've put them in the same... They've said, well, they're like racists. Imagine saying that to people who have helped... I mean, it's, it's absolutely shocking. It's, it's absolutely shocking. I'll put a link in the description. You can read the story yourself. I mean, don't just say, oh, Trevor's making this up. I'm going to put the link in. Please read it and you'll see exactly what they said. It's shocking. And if you're living in America... A big well done to you. It's quite clear President Biden, his priorities, his priorities are not, not the American people. Yes, they're not. President Biden has just sealed and approved 49 billion pounds, not dollars, I've worked it out, 49 billion pounds of military aid going back to Ukraine. 49 billion. Wow. Wow. That's when you know the elites, the globalists, their focus is Ukraine and Russia, isn't it? Their focus is there. It's not looking after their own citizens in their own countries. It's clearly not. It's clearly not. Wow. Hey. But, you know, for those of you that vote Biden, you know, you deserve it. You absolutely deserve it. You really do. And what have I got here? Oh, oh. Prisons, did you know this? The UK government, the UK government in the last couple of years has spent over £22 million of taxpayers' money on prisoners. Yes, believe it or not, the UK government have purchased 97,500 flat screens for prisoners' rooms and also 19,500 mobile phones. What? Yeah, mobile phones, yeah. Twenty-two and a half million pounds wasted. I mean, who says crime doesn't pay? Maybe, maybe prison's a good place to troll from, isn't it? Yeah. Well, there we go. Yeah. But there is one caveat: when you're given your mobile phone, it's monitored. Your calls are monitored, and the numbers you have in your phone have to be approved by the prison governor. Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? Hmm. What do you think, Queen Elizabeth? Shameful, isn't it? Shameful, it is. Well, people, listen, I'm going to shoot on. I'm going to have a wonderful day today because that's the mindset I've set forward. Please keep going on Amazon and leaving your reviews for this wonderful book. Look how beautiful that face is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's nice to be able to have so much military service that you can write it down. I mean, there's not once in there that I drive a car. Not once. Anyway, listen, have a wonderful day, people. But most of all, stay safe. Look after your mental health. Keep your circle tight around you. And 
Yeah, I'll stay safe. I was going to say something about my flowers, but I won't. You can see them. See them? That's it. I'll just leave them. Anyway, listen, have a wonderful day, people. Remember? Focus.